So the next part I'm going to move on to on the model is her cloth down here. So like I said before, I'm going to work my way out from the deepest parts of the model out. And so the next parts are going to end up being her leather breastplate that kind of comes down below her belt, and then all of this cloth. So I'm going to start with the cloth that's at the bottom. And as I said, I, I want, I've decided I want to be kind of a blue scheme with her. So I'm going to start with Bearing Blue from Scale Color. Uh, this is a really nice grayish blue. So it, it brings in the blue color that I'm looking for without being really bright and saturated. The other cloth that's hanging down here between her legs, I'm going to be doing in a plaid pattern. So I don't want this pattern to be too busy, because that plaid's already going to be busy enough. But I just want to create some, some visual interest here. So let's see what happens, let's see what comes out. I just invented some kind of symbol there. I'll just repeat it. All right, and here's the fun part. So we're gonna take Caspian Blue and we're gonna paint over everything we just, we just painted. <laughs> but don't worry, it's gonna be thin. So this is gonna be another glaze, similar to when we were glazing on the skin. So just like when we were applying the pink color to the skin, we're gonna go over the entire blue area with this color. This does a couple things. It creates a little more saturation in the blue area, but it also, just like the tattoos, that we, we pulled the tattoos down into the skin, this is gonna pull that design we painted into the fabric, so it looks like it's integrated into the fabric as opposed to being painted on top. Now, and after two passes, I'm going to start focusing on the shadow areas. So I'm going to start darkening up the, the shadows. This, this particular cloth, how it's laying, it doesn't really have a lot of deep shadows. We'll just start to darken up the places where there would be less light.
So that's as far as I'm going to go. So you'll notice the, the pattern in here has really, really faded into the, the, um, into the blue. And in fact, in the shadows, you really don't see much of it. Uh, I did this intentionally because, as I said, this is going to become a tartan pattern here, which is going to be very busy. And I didn't want to have a lot of busy fabric next to each other. But I did want to just give a hint of some texture and some pattern to the, the cloth here to create visual interest and really reward people who take the time to, to study the model and look at it up close. I like to put lots of tiny details like that into my models. Uh, because again, I think it rewards close inspection and more than just a, a cursory glance at, at what I've been doing. If I'm going to spend hours and hours painting a model, um, I, I really wanted to show off you know, the love and attention that I gave it. And uh, for other people who, who take the time to look at it, I want that to shine through.